Welcome to part two of the introduction to SimSol Smart Sketch. In this video, I'll demonstrate the process of using the area import feature combined with snap point technology to build my diagram. The area import feature actually uses the dimensions of the rooms created in the building estimate to render areas in SimSol Smart Sketch. Once these areas get rendered, we simply snap them together to create the framework of a great looking diagram. I'm going to attempt to recreate the diagram you see in front of you. To get started, I need to get out of Smart Sketch and return to the building estimate portion of my claim. So to exit Smart Sketch, I'll click Done. That returns me to the actual diagram rendering under Diagrams in my claim tree. So I want to go to Building Estimate Scope of Damage where my areas are actually listed. For those that have used SimSol before, you know to create a new area, you hit the New Area Speed button at the top, which brings up the Area Component Entry screen. And then you would continue to fill out the information for the area, such as the room description, the length, width, and height, and then add any of these additional components across the top, whether they be offsets, closets, openings, doors, windows, wings, columns, or custom items. This area will actually be a covered porch, so I'm going to fill that information out now. As I fill out the dimensions, you see a rendering of the area over here to the right, and that's because I have this box checked, Enable Area Smart Sketch and Printing. This serves a couple different functions. It draws the area as I put in dimensions so I can see what the area will look like. It also makes it available to be imported into Smart Sketch once I'm done here. So I have a length of 10 feet, a width of 12 feet, and I'm going to add a couple doors to this lanai. So I come up to the Additional Components section and I click on Door. I choose a door size and that adds the door component. Now I've got to move that door to where it actually belongs in the area. So I'll select which wall it belongs to, whether it's the top, left, right, or bottom. And then I'll decide how far from the top or left that door should be. I want to move it about two feet from this left edge. So I'm going to enter two feet and hit Tab. Now I'm going to enter another door on the opposite wall. So I'll go up and click Door again, pick a size, and this door I'm going to put on the bottom, and I'll want it much closer to this right edge. So distance from the top left will be 8. So now I'm done with this lanai, I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. You'll see it's added it to my list of rooms in the building estimate portion of the claim. I can go back and double check the dimensions of any of these rooms by simply highlighting and hit DIMMS up at the top. That will bring me to the Area Component Entry screen for that particular room. In this case it's the Master Bedroom and all my components are listed here and I can see them on the actual diagram to the right. So once I'm happy with all my areas I hit Done here and I'm now ready to import these into Smart Sketch. So to initialize Smart Sketch I'll just go to the top of SimSaw in the menu bar and click New Diagram. This will bring up Smart Sketch in a three-quarter size window unless I select this option here to maximize diagram on startup. That will ensure that Smart Sketch opens in full screen every time it opens. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at this size for now. So the import starts by going to the top and highlighting this button here, Import Areas, and it also tells me how many rooms are available. I've got eight, so I'll click on that. And here's a list of all those rooms in my building estimate. You can see the lanai that I created listed there. Now I could just go through this list and pick a specific number of rooms I want to import into Smart Sketch, but I want to go ahead and import them all. So I can check this box at the top of the column, or I can hit the Select All button to the right, and when I'm ready to import, I come down to the bottom and hit Done. And just like that, the import's complete, and there are all my rooms imported from the building estimate. To help me see all the rooms I've imported, I'm going to go ahead and stretch Smart Sketch out a little bit so we have a bigger canvas to work with. And then I'm actually going to scale out to where I can see all my rooms there as well. So now I'm ready to start snapping these areas together and see my diagram start to take shape. So I'll start by picking a room that will be a good starting point, maybe something that's on a corner. For instance, I'll take this master bedroom and now connect it to the master bathroom. The master bathroom is right here. Now this is where the snap points take hold. I simply take this master bathroom, left click on one of the corners, and then drag a line from that corner to a connecting corner on the master bedroom and let go with the mouse. 
that connects the two rooms together. I'll now go up to the master closet and do the same. Snap it right into that corner. Next is the great room. Take that corner and snap it right to the master bedroom. Next would be this kitchen. Left click hold down and drag to the attached corner. Next I'll take the dining room snap these corners together next is the garage now as I look at the garage I notice that it actually imported kind of upside down so what I can do is grab this pivot point and actually rotate the garage 360 degrees or in this case just 180 degrees but you'll notice that the label stayed right side up now I'll just simply snap the garage to where it belongs in the diagram and lastly, here's that lanai that we created. I'll snap that into position the same way. Now let's go ahead and scale in so we can see a better representation of the diagram. Now one thing to keep in mind with all these different objects is they use a layering system. So each one is kind of on its own layer. As I'm looking at this diagram, I've noticed that the master bathroom, the door is being concealed by this wall in the master bedroom. Which to me means that this master bedroom's layer is actually above the master bathroom. So what I want to do is click the master bathroom layer and go up to this option here, send to back. By clicking on that, it should send this layer to the back. However, if that doesn't resolve the problem, I can select the master bathroom and actually bring it to the front and now you can see my door between the master bathroom and master bedroom is now visible. So at this point my diagram is pretty much complete but if I want to add to it I can always come over here to the freehand mode and pick some of these free draw tools such as area components, additional wall types, or some of these different shapes that we've got available as well. Adding components is very simple. Say for instance this garage I want to add a couple windows. I just simply come over and click on the window component tool and draw my window. Same goes for doors as well. Click on the door component and draw my door wherever I'd like it. Now if I want to move that door I just highlight it and drag it to where it should be. And like we discussed in the previous video to edit the properties of any of these rooms that I've drawn I can just simply go and click on the object and that will enable a wide selection of editing tools. For instance, this lanai, if I want to shade that in, I've got a pattern selection I can choose here. I can choose the line style. If I don't like that pattern, I can reselect a different one, maybe a crosshatch. And if that's too dark, I can change the actual transparency of it, make it much lighter. Other things would be editing the fill color. So you can see there's many different ways you can manipulate this diagram however you see fit. So at this point I'm pretty happy with this diagram. I'm going to go ahead and hit done up at the top. And that returns me back to the diagrams portion of my claim. When I go to print this diagram will actually be available for printing. And if I want to go back and change anything I just simply go to edit diagram. And that will initialize smart sketch once again. And I can go through and change whatever I see fit. So now that we've covered the import and how to snap these areas together and then make some minor edits once we've got the diagram done, move on to the next video. We'll take a look at how to use Quick Sketch and we'll also explore more of these freehand tools for freehand drawing.